Hey GED students, I got sent this problem through the YouTube comments um, by Updated with Nay. Um, they're taking the task test. That being said, this is super good GED practice too. I love this example because it just shows us how visualization is sometimes a better tool for us than our basic operations, especially when it comes to fractions. Usually we're a lot better at visualizing fractions than we are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with them. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says the gauge on a water tank shows that the tank is one third full of water. In order to fill the tank, 16 gallons of water are added. How many gallons of water does the tank hold when full? Now, you know, it's not immediately clear. It wasn't even necessarily immediately clear for me if this is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division problem. I mean, I know it says 16 gallons of water were added, but the problem is one third full 16 gallons of water. We can only add and subtract the same kinds of things you know, this isn't gonna work out for me. It's not just a straight addition problem. And anyway, it says they were added, like it already happened, not like I need to do it. So a little confusing. So what I wanna do here is bust out a picture. And I think a picture is going to be the most helpful thing we can do. And I would encourage you, anytime you have a fraction problem you don't understand, to try a picture. So let's do this, okay? So we have a water tank, so I don't know. Probably cylindrical, huh? Not like it matters too much. But here's my water tank. And then I find out something interesting about my water tank. It says the tank is one third full of water. They're asking me to break this tank into pieces to visualize it as a fraction. It's kind of like those old fraction um, pictures that your teacher used to draw. So if I'm saying it's one third full, I'm saying that we could take this tank and visually break it into three equal pieces. Those are thirds. So let's do that. Three equal pieces. I've now break in, broken this tank into thirds, you know, um, one third, two thirds, three thirds. Now the uh, tank is originally one thirds full. So we've got water up to this first line here. Okay, now it says in order to fill the tank, 16 gallons of water are added. And we're looking for how many ga gallons of water does the tank hold when full? So, okay, what are we looking for? We're looking for how many does it hold when full? So we're basically looking for the total in the tank. We know that it started out one third full, but we don't know how many gallons that is. Like how many gallons is that? I don't know. Um, but we do know the empty space, because look at this statement. In order to fill the tank, 16 gallons of water are added. So if we want to fill it, we are going to have to pour water into this space here. And they tell us how much water uh, fits in that space. It's 16 gallons. Now you might say to me, so what, Kate? That doesn't tell us about the bottom. Well, actually it does because of something we know about fractions. When you break a... Um, this thing into thirds, each one of those thirds is going to be the same size. So you can see that 16 gallons, that's two of those equal size pieces. Two equal size pieces. The only way to take 16 gallons and make two equal size pieces is to put eight gallons here, half of it, and eight gallons here. And with what I know about fractions, each one of those thirds being the same size, guess what that means? That means we also have eight gallons there. And now it's easy to see the total in the tank. We've got eight, eight, and eight. We've got a total of 24 gallons. Now, of course, this isn't the only way to do this. You know, um, there's, a various ways to do it using algebra, using fractions, but I love this visualization. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED or task <laughs> math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.